if we could only get our hands on that little glowing rectangle, right? What secrets would we find in the cell phone of a narcissist? Maybe you've already looked and you already know that answer, but let's take a look at what's inside the cell phone of the narc and let's release all of their shady little secrets. Firstly, these people are always talking to someone, romantic or otherwise. Not every supply source that a narcissist has is romantic. It's just people who will boost their self-esteem, give them someone to talk to, something to do. Again, not always romantic. The ego of a narc is massive. They're always texting, calling. They're always on the go. They're, you know, they're so busy. These people are nothing more than what's called the busy idiot. Phone to the ear or eyes at all times, like they're actually popular. When all they're doing is just really inserting themselves into people's lives or making lame ass idle conversation just so they feel like they have some kind of entourage or some kind of a fan club. Another thing that it might not be a super secret, but the narc definitely hopes that you don't know what it is, is these people are constantly deleting things deleting old conversations, old profiles, apps off of the phone, phone numbers, and so on. Deleting is a very huge and very easy way that a narcissist can hide things on their cell phone. And a narc might even beam with pride and willingly hand over their cell phone to you and say, look, I haven't been talking to anybody or I, I did what you asked, okay? And I got rid of those apps. Here, you can go ahead and take a look. And it seems like such an adult gesture, right? They're willing to open up and be honest, but all this really does is give you false hope that this person has grown up and that they're going to play by the rules. And a narcissist has absolutely no intention of doing that. But simply deleting everything, what a great way to make you think that they'll play along. Speaking of dating apps, oh, we gotta talk about the dating apps. Um, they are never off of a narcissist's cell phone, and I'll bet every dollar I have. There are apps that you can get on your phone that will hide other things on your phone. A narc can create a folder called vacation photos, and who the hell wants to see that? Yeah, nobody. And that's where the dating apps live, and the other things that we're going to get to momentarily. Dating apps, multiple apps, multiple profiles on different apps. And I know this to be true because I've seen it. I got hoovered while the narcissist was in another relationship, but told me they were broken up and they were on two different dating apps with two different names and two different ages and two different stories. And that's only what I was able to find or have somebody find for me when I was still trying to figure all of this out. Half of the time, all they're doing is catfishing people. They don't even really have any intention on meeting half these people. But when you meet someone on a dating app, you're going to get some compliments, some conversation. People are going to chase you. It's a really great ego boost. Why in the world would they delete dating apps? It's something really great to do when they're bored. We also can't forget about the apps where they can get different phone numbers. We can tie fake phone numbers to fake names, and we can also put that into the equation as well. They will put a person's number in their phone, but give it a fake name. I have been in a cell phone listed as Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, typically a dude's name. Fake names, fake stories. Oh my goodness, it just goes on and on and on. Hey, who you talking to? which don't ask that because if they don't tell you, then you're not supposed to know. And instead of asking, maybe ask yourself why they're not sharing. But anyway, for the sake of the video, you see them texting furiously and, hey, who's that? Oh, it's Michelle. Yeah, well, Michelle is really Michael. And, you know, oh, it's just a girl that I met at the gym and we really hit it off. Yeah, they didn't meet Mikey at the gym. <laughs> okay, but now you're thinking, oh, look, it's such a Nice, innocent little friendship. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's actually a whole big thing that might snowball and get out of control, but we're never going to see it because it's hidden in that little rectangle. As a survivor of narcissistic abuse, 
I know it's hard to find people to talk to about what you're going through. I offer a lot of programs for survivors who want help and support. We can discuss toxic trauma bonds, detachment, or if you just want someone to listen while you talk about what you've been through, I'm always here for that too. You can send an email to bookachatwithjess at gmail.com for more information. You can visit my website, link down in the description. It's on the screen for you now. You can get information about my phone sessions there and book while you're there as well. I'm here to help every single survivor get through this. Like I previously mentioned, they'll hide apps, even things like banking information. They'll hide their chat apps. Oh, holy shit. We got to go there. Why are there 65 chat apps? Why do we need 100 ways to do what AOL did for everyone like 20 years ago? I digress. All kinds of things can be hidden. Is that a flashlight app? How about a calculator? Yeah, no, there's all kinds of nasty hidden behind those really innocuous looking little folders and apps. You know what else is hidden? The massive amounts of, for the sake of YouTube and sensitive ears and audiences, adult content, photos and videos of themselves and other people as well. I had the, um, pleasure, I guess, of looking in a narc's phone and wow, like I'm no prude, but holy shnikes, like that was just a lot. Now it can be mainstream. It can be more extreme. It really runs the gambit, but rest assured, a lot of that ties into narcissism and is hidden within their cell phone. Things you know they're into, things you don't know they're into, and everything in between. Sometimes I feel like it's more hidden. I think some of them go to greater lengths to hide things, whereas I think some just don't really care. I feel like there's a lot of deleting. If they're not hiding, they're typically deleting. I know, again, I got a peek. I found the photos, photos of the narc, videos, photos of other people. And then, of course, the stuff you find on the website, they can go as far as organizing. I guess that depends on how neat and orderly the narcissist is. but. Let's move swiftly on from all the adult content. The only reason I got a glimpse into the narcissist's cell phone that I was dealing with was because I actually found a hidden cell phone. Now, maybe your narc has that work phone or their phone breaks, quote unquote, and they need to get a new one. You could pick up the narc's cell phone just like I did when I was with this person and it's clean and happy and bright and cute. Yeah, the second one that I found hidden, that took you to a whole different place and a whole different reality of dating apps, different conversations, and all kinds of guff. Speaking of that, (laughs) they hide their phone, don't they? I mean, even in plain sight, what is the number one sign of shady shit on the cell phone? When they set it down on that coffee table, face down. You think by now they'd know to turn off notifications, (laughs) but I think that's kind of a red flag too in and of itself. When I would go to spend the weekend with the narcissist, they would go to sleep with their cell phone in their hand under their pillow so that in order to get it, you would definitely end up waking them up. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sorry. Also, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but I have to. Why does the cell phone go into the bathroom with them? Even if they're in there for like two minutes, it never leaves them. They can't go get the mail, take out the trash, or wash their hands without having their phone literally within six inches of them. I remember this person grabbing their phone and locking themselves in the bathroom for 30 to 40 minutes. And I'd go, wow, they're sick or dead or dying or something. And nope. They're just texting other people, talking, taking and receiving photos and videos and doing all of their grossness. And I know that that's a pattern across the board with narcs. But what other secrets do you know about how a narc handles their cell phone and their weird, creepy little habits? Share with me down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.